in Nevada, a battleground where Trump's campaigning today, some stood in late night lines for hours at a Latino supermarket to vote early, maybe evidence of an energized Hispanic base. And you just heard reference to a key group of voters, Latinos, who could make all the difference in some very important states. For more on their importance in this election, I'm joined by our political director and meter moderator, Meet the Press, Chuck Todd. Chuck, pleasure to see you. How are you doing, sir? Good. Let's talk about the Latino vote. It could be make a difference between who wins and who loses. So far, what we've seen is that there's, there's a lot of talk for months. You and I have had this conversation yes. for months. Did Trump awaken the sleeping giant in our demography in this country, the Hispanic vote? And all of the data in Nevada, in Arizona, even in Texas, Florida, all this early vote points to surprising upticks in the Hispanic vote. Although, you could argue not that surprising. This was something that essentially we thought what Trump had done with the Hispanic community, it would do that, and it looks like they've acted. So it could be not a vote for someone, but maybe a vote against someone. It is, and if you're Hillary Clinton, the fact if African American turnout is down, you can handle that, uh, particularly in states like Florida and even North Carolina, if the Hispanic vote surge that we're seeing an early vote is duplicated on election day. And Chuck, very quickly, where could Trump have an impact? Well, you know, Trump is throwing spaghetti at the wall, looking for a, uh, looking for another state. What's real? Michigan. Just look at the way the Clinton campaign is responding. Right. Michigan is tightening. Is it enough? Can he pull it off? I don't know, but Michigan looks more like Iowa sometimes than it does Pennsylvania. Chuck Todd, always a pleasure to see you. We'll see you tomorrow on I'll Meet the Press. see you tomorrow morning as well. It's an honor to be there with you. All right. I'll see Chuck tomorrow on Meet the Press. Decision time on Meet the Press. Don't miss it every Sunday.